Hello and welcome to part 3 of our tkinter tutorial series in Python 3. Where we left off, uh, we made our window, um, and in fact we can just go ahead and pop it up. Made our window here, a uh, simple GUI window, we can resize it, we can close it, we can click on this button, but we can't. it's not doing anything, so we want to have some sort of event handling ability. So close this, and what we're going to want to do here is we say button, we give it you know self, which could be bajumba, text equals quit, but then there's another parameter here that we can add in, and we can say command. And basically, what command is is what do we want to happen, right? When we when someone clicks on this button, when this button is like uh, activated, what do we want to happen? Well, what we might want to happen is the following. So self dot, and then we're going to call it uh, client underscore exit. Okay. Now client exit actually has no. Um, doesn't exist yet, so that's not something that's you know built into tkinter or anything like that. So we define client exit, so it could have been called really anything we wanted. So now what we're going to do is same you know in our oops uh, in our window class here, um, that? in our window class we have you know all these functions and stuff. So now what we can do is we can come down here and we can define a new function. Now uh, this function will say define client underscore exit. And then we'll say self, and uh, we'll just leave the parameters for now. And just as a quick aside, um, I've been getting some comments on one of my other series entirely, and uh, the the comment was that we're referencing functions before they've been defined. And so some people have been having trouble because they're trying to reference it. They're, it's like throwing an error saying, you know, this hasn't been defined yet, and you're trying to reference it. Uh, and so they're saying that in the in the code it was for, it's for a Pygame tutorial series, and in the code it's basically something like this where we're referencing self dot client exit before we're actually at self or we're at client exit right. So we're referencing this function before it even exists, and then we did it again up here right, and we kept doing it. That's not against the rules of Python because right here we're just defining functions, and so functions are kind of like low. You can almost envision. You know, functions aren't really loaded until maybe the very end, or it's it's hard for me to explain how why this is okay. It's basically acceptable because a definition of a function is not a running. So when you define a function, it's not being run; it's just being defined. And so, when it really matters is when you call the function to be executed. It's gonna say, okay. It's gonna as we load this function in, it's, it's gonna you know tell Py or Python's gonna be like, okay. So we've got this quit button, it's a button, when it's clicked, we need to reference client exit. But it's not trying to reference client exit right at that moment, it's it's just storing to memory, like what does it need to do with that function. So right now, putting self.client exit before the function client.exit, that's totally fine. That's not actually, we're not reference. I mean we are sort of, you know, in theory, referencing it before it's been defined, but we're not actually calling it before it's been defined, we're just storing it to memory. So a little bit different there. So if at the same time, if like above class window, let's say we called, uh, you know, window dot um, in it window like that. Okay, if we did something like that, then yes, we would be defining um, the principles because we were calling first of all class window before it's been defined, but also in it window before it's been defined. We're calling it to execution and we can't. So just as a quick side, not really quick, but um, needed to be covered because, like I said, some people were getting really confused about that in the Pygame tutorial series, and maybe some people are getting confused about it now. Python is a scripting language, so it will go line by line, but it's only going to execute something that you're asking it to execute. So, um, anyway, moving along. So, client x itself um, actually can be very basic. We can say client x itself, uh, and all we really need to do is just exit. Okay, so we can call just this exit function. It's a built in. Uh, function into Python. So with that, uh, we can do this. And so again, quit button, it's a button. It, it's text says quit. Uh, and the command for it is self.client underscore exit. So when we click on the button, it's going to run that function. So it comes down here, it says client exit. What do we do? Exit. Done. So we can save that and we can run it. And up pops our GUI. And we can hit quit. And just for the record, this pops up. <laughs> the program is still running. Do you want to sure you want to kill it? We do, so we'll hit OK, and that's that's fine. Okay, so that is um, some button or some error handling. Will you go away? 
That is, um, not air handling, event handling uh, with tkinter. Obviously, we can make this much more complex. So in this sense, all the button did was run client exit, and all client exit did was exit. Now you can kind of foresee in the future some of these buttons might do some more fancy things than just that. Um, but that's basically how you, you would handle it, okay? So if anybody has any questions or comments regarding this video as, as far as uh, maybe what I was talking, you can also talk about uh, uh, referencing it before it's been defined if you, if you were still confused about that. But if anybody else has any questions about whatever, uh, feel free to leave those below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.